All right, let's take a look at fractional exponents. We've done a lot of different things with zero power exponents. We've done powers to powers. We've done same and different bases. But what we have not done or dealt with is situations where we have fractional um, exponents or powers. Now let's just kind of talk about a few things. Number one is we know that if I have 2 to the second power, well, that's easy. That's 4. And 2 to the first power, that's 2 because it's just itself. But what happens if we do this, 2 to the 1 half power? It does not mean what's half of 2. It's actually defined by that this is the power right here that you have. You have 2 to the first power, and then take the second root of that. Now, you do need to have an understanding about square roots. Square roots is a second root, um, because when you have an x squared question, and that equals 25, what you do to both sides is you take the square root. There is a little 2 out here. Nobody really writes it there, but it's there because then this 2 cancels that 2, and that's how we get x equals 5 and negative 5 because we're taking a number times itself that makes 25. So if you have 2 to the 1 half power, the top number is the power, the bottom number is the root. So what this translates into is it's 2 to the first power, take the second root. Basically what that means is it's the square root of 2. A 1 half powers are square roots. Now, another way to think about this as we go here is the, the, a problem like, you know, uh, let's say we reverse it and we have something like the square root of 7 to the fifth power. Well, if I want to go backwards and write this as a fractional exponent, then that would be the same thing. Well, this is just plain old 7. Well, that's like 7 to the first power. So that would be 7 to the 1 fifth power. Now, that's just rewriting. You've rewritten it from one form to the other. Now, the rule or the law that we're talking about right here is the fractional exponent law. And this is something you need to understand and write down. You need to have this, that x to the a over b power is the same as a being the power, b being the root, and what that is equal to is it equals the b root of x to the a power. And that's how we do our rewrites, and that's how we make our calculations to figure these out. So another example, kind of writing it this way. So let's say we have 2 to the 7 thirds power. You could pause the video. You can think about what that's going to be. Basically, what's going to happen is when you do this, this number is the power. This number is the root. Therefore, it tells me I have 2 to the 7th power, and I'm taking the third root of it. And you can calculate 2 to the 7th power, and you can take the third root of that answer, and you can get the number if you want to do the evaluation. So a couple things to think about. You're going to have questions where you're asked to rewrite. If you're asked to rewrite, what that means is you just simply switch from one form to the other. So you switch from a situation where you might have 2 to the 2 thirds power. Well, I want to switch it because it asked me to rewrite. So I just rewrite that as 2 to the second power, take the third root. 2 to the second power is 4. It's the third root of 4, or the cube root of 4, which you can type in your calculator. Then the other questions might say, well, I want you to evaluate. If they want you to evaluate, that means you have to find the value. So that means you actually have to solve for the value. You have to solve for or find the value. So if I want to find the value, then basically what I would do is I'd say, okay, well, I've got 2 to the 2 thirds power. Well, I can just type that in my calculator like that. I can just type in 2 to the 2 thirds. Or I could do this rewriting and get it to the cube root of 4, which I can also just type in my calculator. But the evaluate answer would be it squiggly equals approximately 1.5874, and it just keeps going. So you'll be asked to rewrite or evaluate. The key to this is just remembering that you have this formula. It's the power and the root. And the power goes inside the square root, or the radical symbol, I should say. And then the root goes on the outside. And you can have any degree of root. Uh, real quick, a couple buttons that you need to know how to push on your calculator. If I want to do fractional exponents, I could do 2 to the, and then 2 divided by 3 power. I could do it that way. Or I could do that 3 math, and then it's the number 5 is any power or any root of 4, and I get the same answer. So there are buttons you can push on your calculator to help you make these calculations if you're asked to evaluate. But you should know how to rewrite 
um, from fractional exponents into radical form.